Hello and welcome to a short discussion on how to determine and document the cost to make one product. After viewing this video, you will be able to quantify the amount of direct materials and direct labor required to make one product. Direct material can be measured and direct labor can be timed. Manufacturing overhead is a product cost that cannot be directly measured or watched as one product is made. The cost required to make one product is very important to understanding and managing resources and pricing the product. Most products require more than one type of direct material. The quantity of each material and the cost for one quantity is necessary to determine the total cost of direct material for one product. Most products go through different steps as the product is made. Each step in the production process requires a different type of direct labor. Each type of direct labor with different skills will have a different cost per hour. Manufacturing overhead is required also to make the product. You might remember that manufacturing overhead is the cost of manufacturing facilities and manufacturing management. Manufacturing overhead is incurred to produce all of the products and it is not possible to determine how much it costs to make just one. The cost for one product for manufacturing overhead must be estimated. The estimate is made using an activity that occurs during the production process that is the main cause of the manufacturing overhead cost. Let's take a look at how an accountant would determine the cost to make one washcloth. A cost sheet has three columns. The first column is the quantity required. This is multiplied by the second column, the cost for one quantity, which gives you the third column of the total cost. Total cost equals the quantity required multiplied by the cost for one quantity. It is important to note that a quantity is not the same thing as a unit. A unit is a whole product, one washcloth. A quantity for something is a quantity included in the whole of a product like 12 square inches of material. All three types of product costs, direct material, direct labor, and manufacturing overhead are stated on the cost sheet. A washcloth requires 12 square inches of cloth at a cost of 10 cents per square inch. It takes direct labor 0.01 hours to make one washcloth and direct labor is paid $10 per hour. We will discuss the quantity and cost of manufacturing overhead later in this video. The word standard means the same as an estimate. The cost sheet is prepared at the beginning of the period. It is an estimated cost since the production has not yet occurred during the year and actual costs are not yet known. Each type of product cost requires an estimated quantity that will be used and an estimated cost for each quantity. The two most common types of standards or estimates are ideal and practical. Ideal standards are an estimate of the quantity and cost under perfect circumstances without considering the effect of human error. Practical standards recognize that human error occurs and allows for these inefficiencies. Cost sheets are generally prepared based on practical standards. Direct material quantity standards are determined by measuring the quantity of material that is used to make each product or by analyzing the design specs. The estimated cost for each quantity is determined by reviewing agreements with suppliers or by reviewing invoices for previous purchases. The purchasing department is responsible for buying the highest quality materials at the lowest cost. Estimating the cost for direct labor begins with the production manager determining the different steps required to manufacture the product. The accountant monitors how many products go through each step in an hour. The quantity completed in an hour is then divided into one to determine how much of an hour is required to make just one product. For instance, if 10 are made in an hour, then it takes 1 divided by 10 or 0.1 to make just one. The time to make is stated on the cost sheet. Each skill level of labor is generally paid a different amount per hour. The production manager works with the human resource manager to hire the most qualified workers at the best cost per hour. 
Manufacturing overhead is an indirect cost that includes primarily the cost of the manufacturing facility and manufacturing management. Indirect costs cannot be traced directly to one product. This presents a problem when completing the cost sheet, which is an estimated cost to make just one product. The accountant's solution to this issue is to estimate a cost of manufacturing overhead for each product using the estimated cost of an activity that occurs in the manufacturing process. The first step in estimating the cost of manufacturing overhead is to select an activity that occurs in the manufacturing process that causes the company to incur facility and management cost. For instance, if direct labor is required to manually make the product, then it is reasonable to assume that direct labor needs a facility to work in and must be supervised by management. Therefore, the more products that are made, the more direct labor is required, a larger facility and more managers are required to make the product, and overhead costs increase. If the products are made mostly by machine, and the company has high machine cost, it is reasonable to assume that the facility is required for the machines and management will spend a lot of time making sure machines are working properly. So manufacturing overhead costs are incurred because machines are operated. For products that require large amounts of space for direct materials on the production line, it is reasonable to conclude it is the quantity of material that causes the company to have a larger facility. Remember, you are estimating manufacturing overhead cost, so you are looking for an activity that causes the company to spend more on manufacturing facilities and manufacturing management as more products are made. After the manufacturing overhead activity is selected, the next step is to quantify the amount of activity that will be required to make all of the products. The quantity that is required to make one is multiplied by the total number of products to be made during the year. This gives the total estimated quantity that will be required to make all products. Remember, the manufacturing overhead activity is the activity that causes the company to incur manufacturing overhead. It is not always the highest cost. The next step in the process is to compute the manufacturing overhead rate. The manufacturing overhead rate is the cost to the company every time the activity occurs. The total estimated manufacturing cost is divided by the total estimated quantity of activity to make all of the products to get the average cost every time that activity occurs. The cost every time the activity occurs is then multiplied by the quantity required to make one product to get the total cost of manufacturing overhead for making one product. For example, a predetermined manufacturing overhead rate of $1.50 per direct labor hour means that every time a direct labor hour is worked, the company must pay for materials, labor, and also pay $1.50 for manufacturing overhead cost for the cost of the facility and management. The next step is to list the quantity and the cost for the quantity of activity on the cost sheet. For example, if a product requires a half hour to make and the manufacturing overhead rate is $1.50 per hour, then one unit is expected to cost $0.75 cents in manufacturing overhead cost. Remember, the manufacturing overhead cost for one is only an estimate because the cost of the facility and management are incurred to make all products and it is impossible to physically determine how much of these costs is required to make just one product. It is important to remember that a cost sheet is an estimate of the cost to make one product or provide one service. The cost sheet is used to determine the quantity of each type of direct materials that must be purchased and the number of each type of direct labor employees to hire. The cost to make each product must be known in order to profitably establish a selling price. The estimated quantities and costs noted on the cost sheet are compared to actual quantities used to make products and actual amounts paid in order to monitor efficiencies and prevent cost overruns. The estimated cost to make one product is also used to estimate the, 
the cost of goods sold on a budget income statement. After viewing this video, you should be able to determine the cost of direct material, direct labor, and manufacturing overhead to make one product. You should also be able to put all of these on the cost sheet and estimate the total cost to make one product. Please log on to studymyaccounting.com. The practices you learn will give you examples and practice of each of the concepts discussed in this video. Work the other practice test to verify your understanding. Write the answers out and check your answers to the answers and explanations provided. Please take the time to write them out. It will help you really get it. Thank you for being prepared for class.